were 16 up, so I'm going to go ahead and switch them back to Grain Porridge. And they're saying yeah, I can't do it because I have beer here. There's not an empty slot, so I'm going to put that beer down there. And now they can get back to working and making the porridge instead of beer. So my cart just sold, and it's heading back. I got 4G saved up. Time to go to building levels and switch it to a tavern. Now with the wife, what you can do is, um, oh, she's got loans? Oh, no. Okay, no, she don't. Whew. I'm going to put, put her to the house. Hopefully. Oh, she's in bed. All right, so she's pretty much unusable until, um, until she has the baby. So, and while this building's upgrading, see, I'm down to 800 here. I'm barely going to be able to pay wages. <coughs> I'm, excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and check out my farm. Okay, we got some experience for getting married, having a child, stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, 300 into handicrafts. And then I'm going to wait for um, 375 so I can make... You now have a daughter. Okay. And if you left click this when it comes up, a is it gives you new right under its charter. it gives you an option to change the name, but you have to do it before this meter runs down. So I'm just gonna name her, you know, Kaylee, Callie, whatever. Okay, so now the pacifier icon's gone. I'm gonna left click my wife, and I'm gonna go for train. And what that does is it builds up her experience without her having to leave the house. Granted, not as quickly as um, as it would if she were working. But there's the risk of her being out there working and something happening to her. So I'd rather keep her home where she's safe. And as soon as this building's done upgrading, I'm going to try and uh, add some improvements to it. So the wife is, is training. I can go to important units, click on family, and then double click Kaylee. And let's see. There she is. She's running around. So you can't interact with her yet until she becomes of age. And that's 16, I believe. So at 16 years old, they're free to leave the house and... But you will have to send them to school and stuff like that. And you'll get the prompts over here. So, our village and upgraded into a town. So that lets us know that, you know, uh, the it, we're prospering as a city or as a town, whatever. All right, I'm going to increase storage amount and storage slots. And that way I don't have to worry about getting bogged down with uh, empty, not enough slots to do things that I need to do. And with that said, I am going to go here to my farm and I'm gonna load up and send this load to my, uh, to my pub. So most actions in this game are left click and right click with the mouse. Or, uh, <coughs> excuse me, left click hold, right click hold with the mouse, one or the other will pretty much get you everything you need to do. You can, I don't know if the game has hotkeys, I assume it does. You can look at those in the menu. I grew up, you know, playing games back in the day when we didn't have hotkeys. So, yeah, I'm a little too old to, to learn, you know. I gotta push out information. I'd rather know how to cook a steak than no hotkeys on the computer game. That's just me personally, so. Every little piece of information I learn, I have to push something out. All right, now we're switching to uh, the next turn, Winter 1408. There is a mod, you can find it on the uh, Nordic Games website, I believe, that allows you to change the turn time to one turn so you can spend more time with your characters and, you know, 
enjoy them a little more before they pass on you. In the meantime, I'm going to invest in Constitution and keep that candle from burning out on me so my guy don't die of natural causes. And her, I'm going to go ahead and start putting points into that. So... Our daughter will be naturally gifted towards patron, and this woman was a craftswoman. So, when it comes time to choose the apprenticeship, I'm probably just going to go ahead and stick with patron, because craft is uh, it's an expensive thing to learn. And um, I'm switching my guy to make porridge as well for overnight. Craft is an expensive uh, field to get into. And um, I just don't have the money for it right now. So early game, I like to stick with patron. It's, you know, cost efficient. So it works out best for me. And I'm building up some experience. Okay, I got a level four thing, so with level four, I'm gonna pick best house in town. And with that, it receives a 25 bonus uh, to attractiveness, drawing in more customers. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And that way I'll get more business. So basically you have the option to sell directly into your stock from your business itself or to the market. I could take all this stuff and sell it to the market right now. If I right click and hold, I can see that Mansfield is doing a buy and sell at, at nine even. So it's kind of pointless to, you know, to sell to them directly. And you can keep up with all the statistics and market. Mansfield is the town we live in. Newark is the one that I showed you that's right behind us. If I do have a surplus of wheat and beets and stuff, I will dump it off on them, without a doubt. Alright, improved building. Let me go ahead and add a water vat and a window grill. And this prevents, uh, it gives me fire protection and burglary protection. And I might do the same for the tavern. Water vat and window grill. And that's just going to help when uh, people do start to vandalize and stuff like that. So this is the tip of the iceberg of the game. Uh, town hall, I can apply for an office. There's a lot more to the game if I can bring up my diary. Um, there's a book of evidence, you know all kinds of stuff you know what I mean um, you can hire people to spy on people I can just straight up attack rob bribe someone blackmail them I can murder them just straight up kill them if I wanted um, see my reputation uh, I have zero you know fame in the town uh, that's to be expected, I haven't done anything yet, but <clears throat> you'll be an accessor in court based on. Someone is demanding protection money. Ah, uh, here we go. Armed to the teeth, a tramp belonging to the Ansel family advises you to pay 852 in protection money for your building tavern, the Purple Swan. Should you refuse, there will be consequences. I can say yes, that building needs protection, or I can say no, never. Me, I always say no, never. So this guy's about to mess up my building. And he's part of the green guys. So if I look at... Um, let's see. Ooh, I got some enemies here. Yeah, of course, these are patrons and craftsmen people. So, um, let's see. Melissa Ansel. 
she's yeah they're attacking my building right now they're robbing me and Clifford Anson